Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we are going to uh, try to grow some, some date palms. Uh, I got this idea uh, from Jane, a fellow YouTuber. Her YouTube channel is uh, My Inspired Creation. Give it a check out. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty fun channel. So uh, anyway, uh, we have these dates here. Well, these are just the pits from the dates. Um, the dates have been freshly eaten and uh, these seeds have actually been sitting around for a day or two drying out just a little bit I've uh, washed the uh, the excess fruit off of the uh, off of the seed just so that it stops the rotting from happening uh, we don't want any mold or or uh, mildew happening to possibly sacrifice the uh, the growth of the plant so anyway as per her instructions I have a paper towel uh, I have a Ziploc bag, and I have several seeds. Hopefully, hopefully uh, these will uh, be good enough. Um, I've been told that that the success rate is is fairly high for for the the date palm seeds. Um, so we'll uh, we'll give it a try out. No harm in trying this. So anyway, I have my Ziploc bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paper towel in my Ziploc bag. I have uh, a watering can here. I'm going to uh, moisten the paper towel. I'm going to keep that good and moist. I don't really want a lot of excess water in there. Don't need the, the seeds swimming. So I'm going to, I've got a little bit too much water in here. I'm just going to dump out some of the water back into my watering can. So here we do. Here we go. We have the dampened paper towel. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these date palm seeds, all these date uh, pits, and uh, I'm going to put them here in the bag. Got lots of palms here. There are a lot of uh, pits. Hopefully, hopefully that means I'm going to have a lot of date palms. Again, I'm just doing this as an experiment. Experiment. Um, I might keep one of the date, uh, one of the palm trees for myself. Um, the rest of them will probably go to friends and family, whoever uh, wants them. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to close this up, seal it good and tight. I'm going to put it in a in a uh, a warm spot. It doesn't necessarily have to be a sunny spot, but a warm spot on top of a fridge, um, in a nice warm spot of your house. Um, some people the uh, the hot water tank is is a warm spot, so maybe you could put them in in the closet there with the water tank, uh, anywhere that it stays uh, uh, warm. So I guess uh, the spring and summer is is probably the easiest time to do this because in the winter time, um, it, it's hard to find one of those warm spots. Um, anyway, so we'll come back and and visit this in a in a few weeks time, see how they're how they're doing, and uh, see if see if the uh, the other people are are telling the truth whether it's that easy to grow these guys um, so uh, keep 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 watching and uh, see how this goes